Good morning from the campground. We've got a problem. problem can pretty much be answered by one question. So that question is who, not how. But before we get into that, let's go check out what my dad's doing. Right now, we are replacing the lots that had grass around the homes. For instance, you can see this home has uh, grass. We're replacing that with rock because it's much easier to mow, much cleaner looking, and uh, just it gets less muddy when it's raining. Just so much easier to maintain. This is actually, I think, called Traza Rock, and we roll over it with a compactor, and it actually becomes a really good solid base. This rock is not very dusty, so it's, it really works great. It's a, a really clean rock. So you can see we've dug out the, uh, the grass back here. Um, obviously, we got a ton of rain, so it's a muddy mess, but this will all get the layer of white uh, gravel compacted, and then the, the uh, Traza Rock rolled out on top of that. Wow, y'all, I think my forehead gets bigger about every two days. Uh, but back to the whole who, not how thing. Um, I read a book by a guy named Dan Sullivan called Who Not How. The whole point of the book is asking yourself the question, not how do I do it, but who can do it? Now there is a lot of things that need done here at the campground. And as you can see in the previous videos of me mowing and doing the weeding and things like that, Clearly, I don't have enough who's in my life, um, and I need to start asking myself that question. Who can do it, not how am I going to do it? Um, and the reason why I am thinking about this is as you guys start to scale a business, this is what I'm learning, you just don't have enough time in the day. There's not enough time to do everything, especially when you own multiple properties with different projects going on. You have to build a team. And I am realizing every single day that it is so important to have a solid team, the who's in your life, um, so you can you know, stop asking the question, like how am I gonna get this all done? How am I gonna do it? Hiring someone has always been a struggle of mine. Um, I mentioned maybe Amber before in the channel. So she's the girl that works for me pretty much full time now doing different types of tasks at the storage facilities, at the campground, um, pays my bills, uh, you know, helps collect rents and does the bookkeeping and all that. That was one of the biggest shifts for me. I was so nervous to hire her and not going to lie. There's still days where I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I'm responsible for this person. You know, I need to have stuff for her to do. Um, but it has been absolutely game changer. And honestly, so she's on vacation right now, which is kind of what got me thinking about this whole topic to begin with. Uh, because I'm picking up some of the things that she does while she's working. And I'm just realizing like, she is so valuable to me. And if you can start replacing different parts of your day with a who, um, you're going to be able to spend your time on the thing that is the most valuable for you. So for instance, for me, it is finding more properties, finding more deals, kind of the big picture of like which direction the company is going.
heart or kind of my background, I am a very hands-on, almost quote, blue collar guy. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being hands-on, but you have to realize that if you are making the decision to scale a company and to bring on a team, it is in not only your best interest, but it's in your team's best interest if you put yourself in the seat where you're most valuable. Again, I need to be top of the funnel, finding the deals, um, structuring them, talking to sellers and all that kind of stuff. I am doing my team a disservice by getting into the weeds of things, literally the weeds, uh, and getting too bogged down where the company is not gonna grow. So I challenge you guys to ask yourself the question, who not how? Who's gonna do it, not how am I gonna do it? Start trying to outsource the things you can outsource and try to find where your time is most valuable. It is Friday night and this place is packed. Check this out. I believe that tonight we are almost 100% full other than maybe one lot at most two. Super exciting to see. So we've got a lot of our long-term guys up on that side and then short-term campers down here on this lower side. It's always fun seeing some of the rigs that come in. A lot of times there's you know some real nice ones, especially down in this lower area. Doesn't look like there's any million dollar machines down here. That one's you know a pretty nice one, but pretty cool when you see these million dollar machines rolling. Little side note, my wife and I bought a house, uh, recently moved a few months ago, and I replanted the entire yard. And uh, excited to see the grass come up. If you look really close, you can see we got some grass starting. So in summary, guys, just think about in your life, uh, like I am, who you can bring into your life to help you offload certain things from your mind, your to-do list, um, so that you can better focus on the areas that you're best used for. You know, where's your skill set at? Where Where's your time best spent? Something I'm trying to figure out every single day. I am curious, um, you guys should drop a comment below. Is there certain people you've already brought into your life that has made things so much easier and, you know, helped you expand what you're doing? For instance, this is one thing, um, like bringing in a lawn care company to mow my own yard. Something that in the past I've been like, no way, I would never do that. I'd never have someone else mow my yard. But I'm getting to the point where it's like, you know, maybe this makes sense. Have someone else come in, mow my yard. It takes them 30 minutes. They're in and out and I can spend my time, um, you know, looking for new properties to buy, setting up a new deal, things like that. Maybe it's a house cleaner, you know, for your wife. Maybe your wife has a day job and she has a better use of time doing something else, um, who could she bring in to help offload those you know, house tasks for her? So drop a comment below if you guys have anyone that you've brought into your life or something you've been thinking about trying to outsource um, and asking yourself the question, um, who and not how. So that's about it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one.